This video is going to present a systemic correlation among a set of design ordering principles as operative tools of the Integrative Modification Methodology and the UN 2030 Sustainable Development Growth Targets. This strategic integration between operative tools represents a synergistic model for urban sustainable development. In IMM methodology, the design ordering principles, or DOPs, are tools used to rearrange urban context structure when it is seen as a complex adaptive system. The application of these principles intends to modify the structure of the complex adaptive system and, consequently, its performance. DOPs are associated with a set of indicators used in IMM to weight the performance of the system. DOPs provide a theoretical guidance for complex system design. They offer guidelines and a foundation to form a net framework enabling the integration of actions for specific design contexts. In other words, they provide ordering principles without centralized coordination. In IMM, DOPs are descriptive guidelines to orient designers toward an awareness of systemic principles when they face with more complex problems during their design efforts. It's important to highlight that this set of tools includes a variety of complex interactions and relationships between the DOPs. Therefore, rather than being a list of universal commandments, they address each issue locally, and by their local-oriented arrangement, they lay the foundation of the transformation process. Design ordering principles are not a linear list of recommendations. Instead, they are a net framework of integrated actions, which help us to achieve several goals simultaneously. Within the IMM framework, this is called integration. The DOPs help us to examine the complex adaptive system and detect the weakness of it. By modifying individual malfunctioning components of the actual system, the entire complex system performance will be improved. In a nutshell, the design ordering principles are a net framework of integrated action. It is crucial to consider that the DOPs are sorted and ranked in relation with the elected key category as the transformation catalyst. Further, they are associated with the environmental indicators, which are used for the assessment of the actual complex adaptive system performance as well as the retrofitting process. In IMM, the 12 design ordering principles are directly correlated with a set of 12 families of performance indicators, which are used for the estimation of the performance of the complex adaptive system. Indicators are used for achieving a clear understanding result of the system's performance. After system transformation, indicators will be used to assess the transformation success. As the global guideline for the sustainable development, the UN Agenda 2030 stipulates radical shifts in development approaches with which all the economic communities are expected to comply. The structure of Agenda 2030 is based on sustainable development goals, targets, and indicators categorized in 17 major sectors and articulated in 169 targets addressing a variety of social, economic, and environmental features of human life. Their general structure is based on a specific set of targets for each goal being measured by some certain list of indicators. While there are natural connections between the sustainable development goals and targets, there is no methodological interpretation able to make direct links between the actions resulting from the targets and the performance of the systems which are subjected to change by the goals. The IMM approach to sustainability is aligned to Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. Accordingly with our approach, cities are regarded as complex adaptive systems, and the focus is on simulating their operative mechanisms involving both the internal subsystems and the external systems that the cities are part of. The result will be a methodological interpretation of the SDG number 11, which suggests local-based actions robustly linked with SDG indicators and evaluation methods. Then, the specific systemic character of IMM methodology, which addresses the complexity of spatial sediments and their multi-level integrative order across different scales, paves the way for consideration of the SDGs as an integrated system with links among goals through the targets. In the map of the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, as a network of targets, which is illustrated by David LeBlanc, the 16 SDGs are represented as broader circles with differing colors while targets are figured by smaller circles. Around each SDG, target numbers are linked only to that related goal, giving rise to radial structures around them. Some of the targets are linked with more than their own goal and provide a network structure. Hence, based on IMM methodology and its specific phasing process, we establish direct links between the SDGs, targets, and DOP actions. As shown, DOPs are specifically aligned to number 11 of UN SDGs 2030 targets. 
units. In this figure, you can see where the IMM design ordering principles overlap and are aligned to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Focusing locally on the integration between the SDG 11 targets and the IMM design ordering principles, our approach offers a system of integrated actions for a simultaneous improvement in environmental performance, social inclusion, and the urban metabolism. Two main factors distinguish this research from similar studies. One, the research is holistic approach which investigates the city as a multi-layered built environment. Two, the mathematical visualization tools which assist us to have a better understanding of different outcomes of possible design scenarios. Therefore, it represents a tool for decision makers in order to manage all the activities during the transformation process. In the next slides, we're going to present DOPs and its relevance individually to SDG targets. The DOP number one, balance the ground use, is correlated with the UN's SDG targets 11A and 11B, which aims to prevent the land degradation caused primarily by land use change and urban sprawl, which is a prominent characteristic of most contemporary urban developments. The concept of land consumption, a crucial environmental issue, has been developed in backgrounds where the urbanized area appeared extended, fragmented, and widespread. Spread. This concept includes the need of an objective knowledge and of a quantitative measurement of settlement dispersion phenomena. The European Environment Agency introduced in 1990 the Land Uptake Indicator, which is defined as a measure of the systems employed for urban growth in order to monitor land consumption in all European countries. It all started with the Korean Land Cover Project. This IMM design ordering principle is based on the notion that a compact city needs less energy and consequently produces less emission, as well as is less expansive in terms of transportation cost and infrastructure development. Additionally, compactness preserves more natural land and produces a more vibrant and interesting urban environment, adding great variety and vitality. However, according to IMM, without diversity, compactness cannot achieve its goal. The DOP number two, implement permeability to facilitate urban flow, is correlated with the UN's SDG targets 11.7, 11A, and 11B. This design ordering principle aims to address how different mode of mobility flows inside the urban fabric veins. Permeability, morphologically speaking, is related to neither motorized nor pedestrian flow modes. Instead, it's correlated with the capacity of the system to permit the movement as a whole. The DOP number three, balance the distribution of functions and foster multifunctional spaces, is correlated with the UN's SDG target 11.7. This issue is based on the notion that balancing the distribution of type of uses is more than mixing them. Actually, a proper distribution of uses deals simultaneously with the need of mixing them as quantitative property and to arrange them morphologically in a proper way as qualitative property. This balance arrangement creates vitality, safety, livability, helping to reduce the need to travel, promoting accessibility to jobs and services, as well as fostering walkability, cycling, and public transportation. The DOP number four, make biodiversity an important part of urban life, is correlated with the UN's SDG targets 11.7 and 11A. The aim of this principle is to promote urban green spaces as recreational opportunities, as well as urban ecosystems able to regulate the supply and quality of water, air, and soil, as well as moderating heat island effect. Urban and peri-urban agriculture offers opportunities to protect and integrate biodiversity into city region landscapes and food systems, thereby contributing to synergies across food and nutrition security and ecosystem services. The DOP number five, create connected open space system, activate urban metabolism, is correlated with the UN's SDG target 11.7 and 11A. The main aim of this principle is to define a strong connection between city and countryside through the green corridors, also known as green fingers. A secondary aim is to promote the implementation of a integrated open and public green system for fostering the urban metabolism. The DOP number six, promote walkability, cycling, and their integration with public transport is correlated with the UN's SDG target 11.2. This issue is based on the notion that the walkability can improve the quality of life in urban areas, as well as fostering the social relationship and improve the energy efficiency of the city, thereby reducing its ecological footprint. Moreover, the walkable cities offer many health benefits for their citizens. Combining the two most energy efficient modes of transportation, the bike and the train, provides a seamless door-to-door -door transportation connection. Combinations where the bike will be used at one end of the trip only, like car, train, bike, bike, train, walk, or 
bike, train, bus are also part of the BITIBI approach. The DOP number seven, balancing the public transportation potential, is correlated with the UN's SDG target 11.2. The main aim of this principle is to moderate the use of private car in city context, reducing its environmental impact, as well as physical consequences of the vehicles in urban areas, such as pollution, emissions, traffic jam, congestions, and impacts on safety of non-vehicular road space users. The aim is to make urban mobility more efficient. The DOP number eight, change from multimodality to intermodality concept, is correlated with the UN's SDG target 11.2. Passenger transport is instinctively an intermodal network. People change modes of transportation frequently during a journey. This may seem quite simple, but it's not. Intermodality integrates two or more transport modes on the same journey. Integration means the extent to which different transport services are combined or contiguous in terms of ownership, operation, or usability. The main aim of this issue is to promote an efficient use of different modes on their own and in combination. The DOP number nine, fostering local energy production, building as a component of a community energy system, is correlated with the UN's SDG target 11. B. This issue is based on the notion that it is necessary to look at the energy reduction problem holistically and dealing with it by applying an integrated strategy. It is all due to the fact that the city is more than an aggregation of disconnected energy consumers and the total energy consumption of the city is different from the sum of the whole building's consumption. The DOP number 10, convert the city in a food producer, is correlated with UN's SDG target 11A. Hence, the main aim of this ordering principle is to address the goal of providing more land towards urban and para-urban agriculture implementation use. In fact, urban agriculture could play an important role as an important piece of the reducing energy consumption and pollution puzzle of the transportation game. Additionally, it reduces the urban heat island effect, storm water runoff, as well as the air quality improvement. The DOP number 11, prevent the negative impact of waste, is correlated with the UN's SDG target 11.0. Six. The overall aim of this principle is to promote the recycling sector in order to reintroduce waste into the economic cycle in the form of quality products, while at the same time minimizing the negative environmental impact and energy consumption. At the local scale, the aim is to booster the integration of the micro-urban utilities and promote on-site recycling and treatment processes, which in turn reduces transportation costs and improves the efficiency of the system as a whole. The DOP number 12, Implement Water Management, is correlated with the SDG target 11.2. Hence, the main aim of this ordering principle is to promote integrated urban water management for managing urban water systems, bringing together water, waste, stormwater, and adopting a multi-purpose strategy for the five types of water that are available in urban areas respectively, which includes groundwater, surface water, drinking water, stormwater, and wastewater, ensuring access to water and sanitation infrastructure and services. The following video presented an active and dynamic structure of the integrative modification methodology design operating principles aligned in a holistic way to the 17 UN Sustainable Development Goals, which aims to improve the environmental performance of the urban system. This set of operative tools enables designers, local authorities, decision makers, and stakeholders to address the actual urban challenges toward a better performing urban arrangement, making our future more sustainable and responsible.